Mm. Move the ball, score points. Pretty simple. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's really it. That's all from last year, score in the red zone, move the ball, uh, make plays, explosive plays, and I think we did a good job of that today and try to keep on going. Um, a lot of stuff that went into that. It's hard to explain. Uh, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that the media doesn't really know or understand. Um, but having, we didn't play in a bowl, right? So just having that whole month of December just to kind of like sit there and really like think, you know, how last year went compared to two great years before that, right? Um, a lot of thoughts came into my head, got with C4 about it, Cam Jones, you guys know him. Um put all the thoughts, really had a lot of accountability stuff in there, presented to the whole team in January, and that kind of just created that spark we needed and um, that motivation we needed and that hunger we needed to get back, grind, do what we need to do, um, and improve. I would say this time is probably like as you learn new playbooks, it kind of gets easier and easier. Um, so in that regard, it's, it hasn't been bad at all. You know, getting with Coach Bell, he's great about meeting. Um, and you said, how's it been? And yeah, I think the team has done a great job with Coach. Coach Bell has done a good job getting with us, meeting with basically everybody. So we're all comfortable with him. Um, so it's going good. Yeah, DJ is a great, great person, great player, and I think he's done a phenomenal job of just coming back from his knee. That's I can't imagine like what he's been through. So I know he's done a brilliant job in his rehab and, and getting back with the team. Honestly, you wouldn't even really be able to tell like he hurt his knee. Like he's doing such a good job. So. So I think I'd always encourage competition on a team. Um, I think maybe that's something we – like we've always had competition, but in the recent years maybe not as much. Um, so I think competition is an amazing thing for a team. It's only going to improve everybody who's in it and on the team. So all good for me. I think all the new additions have done a great job coming in and really, you know, getting bigger, well, the freshmen at least, um, getting bigger, faster, and getting in with the playbook. Coach Bell, you know, Cam Camper is phenomenal. Emory Simmons, like, those guys have such great just mental and just mindsets. It's, it's unreal. So I'm very thankful and grateful they're on the team. And, and, you know, I know they're excited to roll this year, so. Dex, I'm, you know, speaking to you right now, Dex, I'm super proud of you, man. Like, coming off that injury, like, DJ, like, same thing with DJ. I have, can't imagine what that's like, and I'm so proud of you, man. And the amount of improvement he's done since he first got here to now, like, you would have thought he's played in the game. Like, and it's kind of, that's kind of where he's at right now. Like, you, you would have thought he had some experience by how well he's doing.
So super stoked for him. I'm excited for him. He's going to be a really good player, I think. First question, you know, I had to do a lot of reflection after last year, and I changed a lot of things. I'm not going to list them all off in my life personally. I changed my diet. I changed the way I lifted. I changed just my mindset in general, um, and then Coach Bell coming in too. So there's that, um, and I think it's helped me physically, you know, get my body fat percentage down, get my speed up, um, all that stuff in lifting, just getting bigger, and then mentally, you know, just focusing on just, you know, no matter what's going on in the game, no matter if we're up by 40, no matter if we're down by 10, like it's the same mindset. It's really the same mindset. So just being, you know, continue, be, continue to be level-headed for the team. And then um, Cam Camper has been, like I said before, phenomenal. Um, one of my best friends on the team, honestly. And um, I think he's going to be a very, very special player for us, for sure. stood out to me about Emery was that that dude is freaking tough. Like, he's mentally tough, physically tough. Just a grinder. Really just a grinder. He'll be in the film room for hours. It's, uh, it's unreal. So, um, I'm super stoked that he's here, and I think he's like he's a super, like, I think he's a great leader on the team already. He's only been here for about five months. So, and that's super impressive. So, I think he's going to do a great job this year. Well, it's the Big Ten, right? So how many crazy defensive linemen are in the Big Ten? That's it's super important, honestly. Um, there's, you know, there's some Chase Young and there's all, you know, there's all these guys. So for me, I personally, you know, went through it last year, year before I've seen it. So getting my speed up, being able to run, run around these guys, make plays and that way, extend plays. It is extremely important for a quarterback to be able to do that in the Big Ten. Just because of that reason I said the guys up front. Um, so that's why, you know, reflected on myself, got my body fat down, got my speed up, um, and really focused on that as a part of the offseason. Uh, yeah. Um, it's kind of interesting to talk about my diet. No, but, uh, you know, really got with Coach Wellman. Um, guy is unreal. Like, I don't know how to say it. He's unreal. So I I don't think I had a bad diet before, really. Um, you know, I ate my vegetables. But I really had to cut down on, um, you know, the carbs, cut, cut my body fat percentage. Down. I needed to figure out what was, you know, adding body fat to me. What, what could I do to take off body fat? So really a lot of ground beef. You know, lean meat, um, vegetables, and no desserts at all. Uh, got a sweet tooth, can't do that anymore. So cut it down, cut my body fat down, what, like 10%? So I'm single digits-ish now, getting close there. So <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I, <laughs> really anything chocolate. If, uh, yeah, I had to, no desserts anymore, sadly. <laughs> I think last year it was about 17-ish. Now it's like 9, 8. So it's close to getting down in the single digits. So I feel a lot more light, I guess. That's the way to put it. It feels great. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.